Okay, we're going to continue our discussion on number sense and factors and actually start applying them today. Uh, again, with the highest common factor, and we're going to look at our shortcut and, in fact, learn a second way that we could possibly have a shortcut. Um, in the last video, we said that we can find the highest common factor of two numbers if we first identify all of the product of primes. So we factor treed 60 and 72 and we listed out all the factors, making sure to space them so all the twos are together, all the threes are together, and all the fives are together. Um, and if we identify the prime factors that they both have, so they both have uh, two twos, and they both have at least one three, if we identify those, those building blocks that each of them have, and we multiply those together, uh, we multiply the common prime factors, then we get the highest common factor, which we abbreviate the HCF. So we know the highest common factor of 60 and 72 is equal to 12. But there is another way. We'll call it the super shortcut. Um, and it may not be shorter. It just depends. Um, and what we do is, just like our shortcut for finding the prime factors, um, we wanted to ask ourselves, does first the prime number 2 go into uh, these numbers and now it's a matter of do the prime factors go into both numbers. So I, I can't just say does 2 go into 60, I need to say does 2 go into both 60 and 72. And if it does, then we can do that just like we're doing our, our ladder kind of method, looks like a ladder there, and 2 goes into 60 30 times and into 72, 36 times. Again, does 2 go into both of them? Yes, it does, and that gives, leaves me with 15 and 18. Does 2 go into them a third time? Well, no, not both of them. It does go into 18, but not 15. And if it doesn't go into both, we don't want to use it. So I go to the next prime number, 3. Does 3 go into 15 and 18? The answer is yes. I get at least 5 and 6. Does 3 go in a second time to 5 and 6? No, it does not because 3 doesn't go into 5. It's not a factor of 5, even though it is a factor of 6. Okay, so it's, it has to be both, not just one. And then I go on. What about 5? Well, 5 goes into 5, but not 6. And then we've reached all the prime factors that could go in. So we're left with, again, the same prime factors. 2 times 2 times 3. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times that last 3 is going to be equal to 12. So 12 is our highest common factor. So we can shorten this. And if we're trying to go straight to the highest common factor, we may not even need to figure out all of the product of primes. Now, if you have all the product of primes, you might just be able to use those in the first shortcut. But if you want to go straight to the highest common factor, this method may even be shorter.